Hey everybody, uh, because I have Instagram TV and I was gonna write a blog this morning, I actually wrote it and was about to post it and then I just decided, you know what? Uh, I could probably just do a video and it would be a little bit more personal and you'd get it, you know, in person, virtually. Uh, you, a lot of us can't really read or don't have time to read, so I just decided to make a video and share with you guys something that has been really, uh, evident in my life in the past few weeks, but I just wanted to speak to the spirit of rejection, uh, the thought of rejection, the feeling of rejection, the PTSD that comes from rejection and its best friend that it's always hanging out with, which is fear. And I realized uh, this past few weeks that one of the reasons why I have a lot of anxiety in my life is because of uh, this, you know, me being older and me experiencing so much rejection in my life and not just not in a relationship i'm talking about period in life so in career in uh in a relationship in marriage and all of these different areas of life thinking that it's going to go one way and it just falling apart so many you know record deals or jobs or uh, um opportunities that come and then they go as fast as they came but you thought oh this is it this is it and even in marriage and thinking that everything was fine and then it falling apart or being in a relationship and then all of a sudden someone decides like, you know what, like this isn't for me. Clearly, if you are a believer in divine appointment or the Lord protecting you, then obviously praise God for closed doors, right? And people that you didn't end up being with or whatever. But it doesn't mean that in your heart or in your brain, you get this idea that something's going to happen every time, like rejection's going to happen every single time. And so as we get older, we stop taking chances and we stop taking chances on love. We stop taking chances on uh, big dreams and career and uh, putting in that resume and all of those things, because we are so used to being rejected or not making it or uh, that person breaking up with you or cheating on you, whatever it is, the rejection, the fear. And so Lately in my life, I've just realized, you know, my famous friends always joke that I am I am their friend that's almost famous every time. Like, if I even shared half the opportunities, sorry, my hair's like crawling on me. Uh, the opportunities that I get and they end up falling apart is it's over and over and over again. And being in relationships where I haven't been in a lot of relationships because I'm picky, but you know, even thinking that my marriage was just, you know, going to be this incredible thing and perfect and then it just falling apart and broken promises. But I just want to talk about or just share that fear is still a liar. All those thoughts in your head are still lies. Just because you've been rejected from a boss or a company that you wanted to work for or a parent or whatever, like, that doesn't mean that you're not going to experience victory soon. And so I just wanted to encourage you that if you're walking in anxiety and fear every day, uh, whether it be in a new relationship or whether it be in a uh, new business that you want to start or whatever, walk in joy and peace and know that chances are still to be taken no matter how old you are. I'm 35 and seriously, I'm going to take chances like I have to or otherwise I'm going to be miserable the rest of my life worrying all the time that something's not going to happen. Something's not going to work out. And I just can't live that way anymore. Like I can't live in a worry all the time that, you know, yes. Does rejection hurt? Absolutely. Does it hurt to be to be uh, lied to or to be let down by a big company that promises you all these things? Yes. Like, does it hurt to dream big dreams and think it's going to go a certain way and then it doesn't, yes, it hurts. It hurts so bad. Sometimes you want to cry uh, remembering how bad it did hurt. But what I want to say is that God redeems all things and in his perfect timing. And you don't ever have to take the guilt or the blame for it not working out. And a lot of times people are going to say, well, everything happens for a reason. And, you know, God's protecting you. Yes, all those things are great and awesome and true. But the reality is, is that it sucks sometimes. But that does not mean that you sit and don't take chances anymore. And, and I'm preaching to myself because 
I've almost not gone for really special things in my life lately because of the rejection that I've had before and doing it to protect myself. It is a protection. Uh, but I just want to say that fear is a liar. I know you hear it all the time and all these inspirational quotes and see these memes and blah, blah, blah. But fear is still a liar and it hangs out with rejection. And no matter what, it's time to take another chance. It's time to put in that resume, to send that email, to knock on that door, to fall in love, to do all those things that you've been wanting to do, but haven't done because you are afraid of it falling apart. You know what? If it falls apart again, who freaking cares? Um, God takes care of us. And it is, uh, I'm very grateful that he's so faithful to give us peace and take us through whatever trials next or whatever victories next, you know? It could be around the corner. So that's all I have to say. It's been a really crazy uh, few weeks and I'm just grateful for a uh, breakthrough in my life after a lot of things that um, I've held on to for my past and just knowing that I don't have to live in fear anymore and that I'll take another chance and that I'll keep knocking on doors and whatever. Okay. I think that's it. Bye.